Oh gosh, Marty, no. No, he's actually like chomping away on it. Okay, eat that leaf and then call it a day. Hey, I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine. Welcome to another episode of The Home Primp where I make over spaces on a budget. Today, we're in my guest bedroom. In the last episode, I updated this bedroom for under $200. If you missed that video, don't wanna miss it, click here to see it. But today is all about decorating with plants. If you've watched the Home Primp series, you may have noticed that I use a fiddly fig tree in almost every video. That's because plants are so important to a freshly decorated space. They bring texture and they bring color, but they can be really expensive. So I'm here to primp this bedroom into a beautiful plant oasis for under $100. My unofficial rule when it comes to decorating with plants is to stick with smaller ones like succulents and air plants, which typically cost only two to six dollars a plant, and then invest in one big one. The key is finding fun and clever ways of displaying them so that even small ones stand out in a room. I picked up the small plants from my local plant store and the bigger ones from Sheridan Nurseries in Toronto. Decorative seagrass baskets are a must for all floor plants, but they are not cheap. I'm using this basket from Ikea. I'm painting the bottom a metallic copper. Fold the basket down so you don't get it above the crease. Hot glue gun on some fun pom-poms because come on, did you really think this episode wouldn't feature any? Or if you'd like a more rustic finish, use chalk paint. I love how this stuff leaves a matte chalky finish. Using a gold leafing pen, make little confetti lines over the chalk paint to really make the basket pop. For this plant, I'm going to make a mid-century planter that's going to cost me just $9. First, take a tomato cage and cut off the long bits with a set of wire cutters. Spray paint it any color you like. I'm going for the all copper look. Let it dry, and then use a pot you already have and place it on top of the cage. It's that easy. Hot tip, you can make succulent lookalikes out of fruit. All you need for this DIY is the most amazing pineapple you can find and a terracotta pot. First thing you need to do is cut the pineapple top off. Peel the leaves back. See those little dots? Those are the roots. Soak the top in a clear glass until the roots start to grow. This will take a few days. In the meantime, take a fun color of spray paint and paint your pot. When the roots have grown through, plant your pineapple. Just a side note, Pineapple plants take a few years, yep, yeah, years, to actually grow baby pineapples, but for now, it's the cutest little succulent lookalike. These long and drapey plants are perfect for hanging planters. I saw this one at Anthropology, but here's how to make one for yourself for a fraction of the cost. First, take this pot, make three tiny holes in it using a punch. Put the punch where you want the holes and use a hammer to pierce it through. Spray paint it any color you'd like. I'm using a matte charcoal color. Thread butcher's twine through at the length you'd like the pot to hang. Add some wooden beads, I love these, for a fun touch and tie the string at the top. Put a cup hook in your ceiling like this and hang it up. Another fun DIY with your terracotta pot involves decorative paper. Even wrapping paper will do. I had some of this leftover from a couple primps ago. Using Mod Podge, cover a section of the pot in glue and place your paper over it. Then coat the top with more Mod Podge. This doesn't have to be perfect. Leave to dry and you've got yourself a hit of pattern and color in your space. You know all those egg cups you have but never use? Or is that just me? Well, they make excellent succulent pots for a side or night table. Decorative hooks are a great way to display air plants. I have these wooden ones and I'm putting them on this wall so guests have a place to hang towels. They're also perfect to hang these little air plants with fishing line. Now it's almost like a living plant wall. This DIY is great to cover a blank wall. Buy a dowel from the hardware store and paint it any color you want. I'm leaving mine as is to keep it looking natural. If you've got some fresh flowers in your house that are getting ready to turn, you can use those. If not, eucalyptus looks amazing and minimal. Tie each sprig onto the dowel with fishing line. Tie more fishing line around each end of the dowel and join them at the top. 
hang it above your bed for an amazing makeshift headboard or on a blank wall using a picture hook. And there you have it, a beautiful plant oasis for under $100. Thanks so much for watching The Home Print. See you next time. That's a wrap. For more budget-friendly updates, click here and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here.